Because of its waterways, Houston, Texas is known as the Bayou City, yet residents couldn't have fathomed the 27 trillion gallons of water that Hurricane Harvey would unleash in late August across Texas and Louisiana. Destruction began in South Texas with 130 mile per hour wind, and then a record rainfall event for the United States ripped the greater Houston area with an unprecedented 52 inches of rain. But then the spirit of Texas set in and local church members were first responders. They didn't start getting the boat. It's getting worse. At one Houston area meeting house, turned into a command center, volunteers rescued more than 850 people from the rapidly rising waters. In anticipation of the storm, the church sent supplies, and the trucks loaded with water, food, clothing, cleaning and hygiene kits and other supplies just kept coming. As quickly as the water rose and began to recede, an army of volunteers, Mormon helping hands, came by the thousands upon thousands. From fellow Texans and neighboring states, canvassing the region to assist their neighbors in need, one by one. Let me go get you one more. Oh, no, well, she'll, she'll take one. I gave a thoughtful prayer and it was just the weirdest thing and then all of a sudden this group came up to my house, 20 or so of them, and their little, little yellow vest on and said, here we are ma'am, what can we do? And they just went to work. And after they finished this, they just came to me and said, uh, thank you for letting us serve you. <sighs> I just, I just was overwhelmed and I still am overwhelmed. The kindness that just popped out of nowhere without me even asking, it just made me feel a little bit better. All this crew here today has been a big help. They're taking our walls, they're taking our floors. They've just been a great help. What we were doing in several days, y'all did it in a couple of hours, and it just helped us tremendously. You know, we prayed, and uh, about five minutes after that, you know, that's how I say God is so awesome and good. Right after the prayer, and I say, Lord, just send me some help, because I am so tired. And one of the gentlemen called, and here they are doing an awesome job. The reason that we're willing to do this is because we're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and uh, we're disciples of Jesus Christ. And these are our brothers and sisters and we're here because we love them and we want to help them. Through numerous partnerships with organizations and other faith groups, the reach of the relief efforts appeared as wide as the flooding itself. We're particularly grateful for the Latter-day Saints Church. It's an enormous privilege to work side by side with people who care so deeply and want to help others. Everything that we do together is miraculous to me. To assist with the healing, the church provided disaster mental health counselors. It's a blessing to be a part of your life. And like it I really said, your family, you'll always be in my heart and on my walk and in my prayers and in my God. And you'll always be mama. Yep. yep. And you'll always be my son. Well, awesome. Following Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the church donated more than $11 million, sent over 350 truckloads of supplies, and provided more than 45,000 days of volunteer labor. It's anticipated the church's efforts will equal or surpass that of Hurricane Katrina. Deep in the heart of Texas, the emergency response and recovery is just a beginning. Full recovery will take years, and the church's efforts, as Texans would say, will be here for the long haul.